Hello, welcome to all in this SAP tutorial. Today we will learn how if you don't know any SAP transaction code, then it's not the matter of worry. In itself SAP menu, there is options to search transaction codes depends on your requirement and depends on your field, right? How can you search these SAP transaction codes? We will show you step by step method. Okay. So if, if you are new on our channel, please subscribe our channel. And if you think this is useful tutorial for you, please press a like button and comment. Okay. So we will going to see step by step methods. See. See. This is SAP menu path, right? And here in the logistic, there is a material management, there is a purchasing, there is a purchase order. So in case of the purchase order, see, uh, there is a transaction code for creation, there is a transaction code for change, ME24 for maintain supplement, right? See, for the creation, we have a ME21 and ME25 for vendor unknown, okay? ME22 and for change, ME23 and for display, okay? See. If you want to get the list by vendor, by material, by PO number, by supplying plant, then these are the ME2L, ME2M, ME2K, ME2Z, ME2C, ME2B, 2M, 2W. These are the list, uh, these are the SAP transaction code to get the list of the purchase order, right? See, so in SAP menu part, we have itself a lot of options, right? I repeat again, this is the SAP menu path, see, this is the SAP menu path, we need to expand in the logistic for the MM module, right, see, in the purchase order, if you expand the create button, then ME21N for creation of the purchase order, ME25 for vendor unknown, and see, ME22N for the Purchase order changes, ME23 and for display, okay. See, in the release, ME29 and for individual release, ME28 for the collective release, right. For the purchase order list display, we have so many SAP transaction code, ME2L by vendor, ME2M by material, ME2K by journal, ME2J by projects, ME2C by tracking number. ME2N by PO numbers and if you know the external services, ME2S by external services, right? And for the same, this is the list for the purchase order, right? If you want to know the transaction code for the purchase requisition, ME51N, ME52N, ME53N, ME54N, ME55, ME5F, right? So these are the for the transaction code for the creation, changes and release, right? For the list, ME5A. ME5 is a general SAP transaction code to get the list of the PRs. By account assignment, by transaction per tracking number, ME56 for the assignment of the PR to APO, ME57, assign and process, ME58 via assignment list, ME59 and for automatically via purchase requisition, okay. So these are the different general SAP transaction code. These are the standard universal transaction code which is famous worldwide, okay. And for outline agreement, contract APO, ME31K for creation, ME32K for changes, ME33K for display, ME35K for release, C and uh, ME32L for the changes if you get the data for the scheduling agreements, okay. ME3L by vendor, ME3M by material, ME3C by material group, ME3B for by tracking number, by agreement number. So you can get ME3S by contract. So here you, you have lots of options to expand your uh, T code menu. And if you have proper roles and assignment, you can easily use this SAP transaction code for, uh, for your requirements, okay. 
we have a inventory management option we have logistic invoice verification option physical inventory option valuation material requirement planning service entry sheet uh, service masters foreign trade oblique customs material masters see in the inventory management we have a migo standard transaction code uh, migo underscore zero zr for orders mb31 for orders mb1c for others mb1a for good issue mb1b for transport posting mb04 for subcontracting and see these are the uh, good issue for handling units okay in the logistic in the material management in the purchasing inventory management these are the sub menu you can easily uh, get the data right for the service entry sheet ml81 and is for the creation and maintain ml83 for the print and ml84 for the list of the service entry sheet for wire purchase or msrv6 for services okay so i hope uh, you think uh, you you will get for the material in the material master we have uh, so many transaction code for creation mmr1 and uh, creation for change for flag display so many transaction codes okay see for the display for the changes see in sap menu path we have so many options for example we we have explained right now for the material management if you want to go to to get the transaction code for the material management you need to go in sap menu path you need to go in the logistic menu then further expand in the sub menu of the material management then sub menu under the material management the purchasing inventory management logistic invoice verification like myro physical inventory valuation material requirements planning service entry sheet service master foreign trade customs these are the options if you go on the sales and distribution you will get all the uh, general transaction code uh, related with the sales and distribution so these are the tricks where you can get easily all the sap transaction code if if you don't know and if you go from the scratch and you, you need to click on each transaction code double click on the each transaction code a command window will open and you can easily access that transaction code if you have proper roles and assignment right here in the main menu uh, like logistic we have accounting we have human resource we have in information system we have tools we have web client ui framework and hcm reports so hope you think this is a useful tutorial for you so if this is useful please put a comment in the comment section and please share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends okay and don't forget to subscribe our channel for the latest information uh, in sap and erp okay happy learning have a good day